you know, the way you approach things, you know, I'm older than you, but I still learn a lot from you. So it's your bread and butter, man. That's, that's what makes you so legit, you know? No, and I really appreciate, you know, how you, you're always available and willing to like answer my questions and I'm looking forward to just continuing to grow. So yeah, welcome. Uh, so how I like to start this off with uh, Mike is if you can just give an introductory on yourself and how you got into selling on Amazon. Uh, sure. So I actually first started uh, really in e-commerce drop shipping. Uh, I was I was actually working as an Uber driver, and I had had a conversation with one of my passengers, and he was talking about drop shipping and how it was just like crazy profitable and it just seemed really easy too so i you know started doing a lot of research on my own and came across uh some other youtubers who were talking about drop shipping and call it kind of followed them um trying to get my own site started and uh, I ran into some issues with uh, how much it costed to market on Facebook. And on top of that, not having a successful page and, and uh, you know, totally, you know, perfect page, you're not going to get those conversions. So I had, you know, a lot of issues trying to figure that out. And um, so, you know, then I, I, I sort of uh, came across you on YouTube. And I was like, wow, like, you know, what you're saying made a lot of sense. And uh, I already knew how big e-commerce was. Uh, I, I felt like I kind of knew how big it was. And so it was just one of those things, you know, I'm, I'm an, I've always, I'm an entrepreneur. Uh, you know, I have a degree in business and I just never really found that thing that I could plug into and put my, you know, creative energy into to make it grow. When I came across, uh, you know, your videos and, and I mean, really with the e-commerce stuff in general, it was like, it felt like a no brainer. It felt like, uh, like I shouldn't spend a second longer not doing it. You know, I shouldn't spend a second longer, uh, not putting in action to make this happen because it seems like it's totally achievable. So yeah, so it's, 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 it's definitely been an awesome challenge ever since, uh, that time and ever since i was enrolled in you know your course and uh since i joined your course and started it's been i think it's only been about two and a half months i mean maybe less or a little bit more but i think uh so last month i brought in 5k revenue on 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 my seller account so congrats that was really cool you know, I mean, that was kind of the fruits of the work, right? And, you know, and I'm, but, you know, I'm projected to double that in the next month or so. Um, Congratulations for so, that. Yeah. So, yeah, things are, things are going really well. It's definitely been a challenge, but, uh, you know, it's, you know, been tons of growth. And, and I feel like, uh, you know, I feel like I'm getting more and more comfortable with it, you know, as, as time goes on you know, day by day. That's really good to hear. So you said you kind of had a little bit of background of, of being an entrepreneur in, in business. Um, and you said you couldn't really find out something to kind of plug into play with those skills that you had. Can you touch a little more about that kind of um, how you, the skills that you kind of learn in your past are able to adapt these into your, your Amazon business? Yeah. Um, I, 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 okay. So one of the big things is like Microsoft Excel. Yeah. Um, you know, I think, I think my work experience, you know, using that program and using some other online programs and just being kind of familiar with working online, working on a computer. I think that was definitely really important practice for me. And, uh, because I do use Excel a lot and, um, just navigating the web platform. Um, you know, you really have to be detail, you know, you really have to look at the details. Um, you know, and that's something that I've learned, um, because there are a lot of obstacles, and um, I found sometimes the best way to get over those obstacles is just to look more and more into the details until you find out exactly, you know, what you need to get over that obstacle. Nice. Well, that's some really good points. Um, was there any specific obstacles, if any, that you can think of that just stood out that was kind of the biggest hurdle you had to go through when you're getting your Amazon business set up? Uh, 
one of my first orders with my one of my first uh, suppliers. Uh, the the he recommended uh, my con you know my contact there recommended that I ship with a different carrier because uh, the Amazon partner carriers you know can take a, a really long time to get the inventory to the warehouse and uh, he said that the those the one that came by you know their warehouse in particular was pretty they got a lot of complaints so. Um, you know, going through my own carrier was very uh, interesting learning process. Oh, um, generating, yeah, and then you know, generating my own BOL. Um, so that that was, you know, that was kind of uh, interesting uh, to start with. But you know, now it's like uh, I think I just sent over a new BOL today, and uh, I was like, yeah, this one went went a lot smoother than last time. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. I mean, shipping is honestly yeah. one of the kind of the most confusing parts of this business. That's why I have an entire mall drawn, but things always come up with that. So uh, at least that's the, the hurt, hurdle and obstacle you can overcome, but that's good that you went through on there. Um, so the next question I have for you is you said uh, the last month you did $5,000 of revenue, which is amazing. Um, how much did you first invest um, into your business? Uh, so at first, um, so I actually got started out with, uh, a few seasonal products and uh they were a private label uh a brand right mm. and uh you know the reason i got into them was i was super new and i was just looking for something that was selling it was yeah. like one of the top sellers in um clothing and um so i just decided to and it was i you know had been able to acquire a wholesale um, I was approved as a wholesaler with uh, the company. So I was like, I just thought I was in. So I was like, yeah. I'm in, I got to get in, I got to buy a product ASAP and get the stuff online and just see if it works. Um, it didn't quite go as I planned it. Um, but I did get on there and I, I made a killing in my first few days. I think I sent over a screenshot, um, just absolutely slayed the first few days and then I ran into some issues with other you know other sellers competing and bringing down the price of the buy box um, pricing a little bit out of what I could price it at so um, you know I ran into some errors with there you know especially because I didn't realize how much you know how, actually how much ROI I was missing out on by just looking into other products instead okay. because I just really wasn't making a huge, a huge amount of uh, return on those on those initial products which is fine. Um, so I, I spent about like three K I would say, um, to get, to get started. Um, and you know, I, I've been kind of investing more little by little. I try to go in like, you know, one K, you know, of an order is usually a great amount. Uh, I found at least to really, uh, boost that boost my mm -hmm. sales. So I'm finding more and more profitable products and, uh, you know, figuring out ways, um, you know, how I can, you know, max, you know, maximize, uh, the, uh, those, the, the way, uh, you know, different ways and strategies. Yeah. So I'm you learning a lot. Of products. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Always try diversify, get other products, test new things. Always a great thing to do. Um, so the next question I have for you is since you came over from drop shipping and that's how you kind of got introduced into e-commerce from Uber passenger. Um, what would you say to anyone that's like skeptical about this specific business model? if it like works or not. I would say that uh, just watch your own behavior. I mean, yeah. I guarantee that, that they're going to be shopping on Amazon pretty soon or maybe eBay yeah. and or somewhere else online. And they're doing it. They're part of, you know, the system, but they're just on the wrong side of it. I, I see it, you know. So for me, it's just about uh, getting on the right side of it. And I think that, you know, you're a really great mentor and you, your course is very thorough and um, you just do a great job of explaining everything that you need to know to get started. So I guess if you're hesitant to get, you know, really into it, I just say keep doing your research. You know, I, I mean, you obviously, you know, I mean, you're going to, you're going to find that it's, it, it is, you know, everywhere. Uh, you know, Amazon is, you know, you see it in the news all the time. I mean, it's not going anywhere, right? It's not like you're investing into a shaky business. This is like the biggest company in the world right now. So, you know, I would just say if you're really still unsure, just, you know, keep doing research and figuring out if uh, it's right for you.
Very good hearing. I like, I like what you said about how just watch your own behavior because, yeah, I mean, if people don't understand now this business model works, well, look what you're buying Christmas and everything, those lines. So that's a really good point. Yeah. Um, what is your, uh, daily routine or just kind of the process you go and how you run your daily operations for your business? Um, I try to stay really organized. Uh, I try to keep everything in folders on my Mac, uh, and just in, you know, the right folders, I have a different folder for each supplier. And then I have a master list where I keep, uh, you know, each of the orders that I place smart, smart. and, uh, you know, that has all the data the numbers, everything like that. So I can always, if I need to really quickly find out exactly, you know, what my margins are, what quantity I ordered, anything like that. It really doesn't take too much time, but definitely just putting in that time. I mean, I, I think I've spent a lot of time just getting it started. Um, I think that's probably the most time consuming process is getting started and figuring out how everything works you know it's just it's it is tough i mean there's a lot of yeah, stuff very true. so you know I, I don't want to undercut that i mean it's not like oh a b you're there i mean it's definitely yeah. uh, a process so you know on that note you know the tortoise wins the race and that's kind of my philosophy you know my day-to-day -day operations the tortoise wins the race and you know I, I make sure everything is secure and steady and you know day by day everything is organized and i know where everything is and yeah i mean that's that's seems to be what's producing good results continuing. Well, that's, that's great. You definitely have a solid mindset with all that because yeah, the real business, it's going to take real time and efforts. You don't just press a couple of buttons. So that's a very good point made there. Is there anything else you would want to potentially say to someone that could be watching this, um, to leave them off with? Uh, I would say that, uh, you know, I, when I first started this, I, I was desperate. Uh, I still am desperate. Uh, you know, I, you know, I, I am no means like consider myself a six, like a success, like crazy yet, but this has given me so much hope every day, uh, to continue plugging and chugging. And, uh, I mean, it really does. I mean, it really has. And I mean, it's just fuel in that fire to keep you, uh, going. And I would say it's a hundred percent legit. And, uh, I think that you shouldn't get involved in it because then you might uh, get on one of my products and <laughs> take away the buy box. Good point. So, <laughs> yeah, if you're not in already, I mean, yeah, it's one of those. It was, it was just one of those things for me. But yeah, yeah. that's I actually really like how you said that you don't feel like you're success yet, but you have the confidence and hope that you can really start plugging away because that's really the main point. I really want to get to people is that okay, this business model works. It's going to take time. Be the tortoise long-term game so very good to hear um thank you so much for your time mike and yeah just thank you so much and really glad to have you on here all right thanks bo i appreciate it man thanks for uh yeah talking to me all right oh, one, one question i had go for it actually i think you answered it in an email that i sent over but uh as far as um you know investing like long term mm -hmm. kind of more long term like investing in like a space a warehousing space to do uh, prepping and, you know, to avoid that prep, those prep and placement charges. Yeah. So I would say with that is if you're going to use it just entirely for your own Amazon business, maybe not the best part unless you're have extreme amounts of products. I would try to maybe if you do start up or invest into some warehouse or rent that one out, try to, turn it also into a profit center where you're warehousing other people's products, your storage unit for other people is just random junk. Um, or maybe you start up some other type of like labeling service. So I would say if you do that, try to have it to be another profit center as well within just itself. If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, it does. Definitely. Cause I've seen a few Amazon sellers who do very well that they, that's what they kind of do is they have their own warehouse, but then they also like, offer people service like hey instead of shipping to an amazon fulfillment center all would charge less than a third-party prep center or less than a amazon's rates so awesome okay all right thanks thanks for answering that yeah i'm looking forward to just continuing to grow exactly and, uh, yeah and always feel free to update me and always feel free to reach out but yeah really excited for your growth i mean with you you definitely understand i mean you have a freaking mindset so you know what you need to do so that's very good yeah no and i really appreciate you know how you you're always available and willing to like answer my questions and answer everyone's questions. I think that's just awesome, man. I think that's, 
that's your bread and butter, man. That's that's what makes you so legit, you know, is that you're, nope. you're really there. You're really in it, man. You no know? problem. You're, questions, you're doing everything, man. You're, you're 100% in it, so. That's what I'm here for. Thank you, man. I, I definitely, you know, uh, I, you know, I, I definitely uh, learn. I've learned a lot from you as, and your mindset and, you know, the way you approach things, you know, and I'm older than you, but I still learn a lot from you. So, um, and that's just, that's just, just the truth, man. So. That's very good to hear, but yeah, I'm proud of your early success so far and just really excited for what you'll be able to do in the future. So yeah, thank you for all that and excited for you. Thanks, Bo. All right. Have a great night. Thank <laughs> you.